There are violent and disturbing images in this game. The fear of blood tends to create fear for the flesh. Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome to Silent Hill, a game that I've never actually completed, and that's one of the main reasons why I'm playing it on the channel right now, is because I've never actually finished the game. I've gotten pretty close to the ending, I want to say. The farthest I've gotten is this uh, carnival level, which I want to say is either the last level or the second to last. And I have no particularly um, good explanation as to why. Now, I don't believe this game has subtitles, so I will do my best to shut up when people are talking. Um, I'm going to hope for the best. Expect the worst. It has been a while since I've played Silent Hill 1, and the Silent Hill series as a whole is not exactly known for its combat. And part one is no exception to that rule. So, wish me luck. And here we go. Also, why are there quotes around it? Like, I, it's almost as like it's saying, do you want to start the game? Would you like to take a look at some options? How do you feel about gameplay settings? Uh, let us go on normal. Even though we might suffer. What's kind of interesting, though, is, like, this crash happens at the end of the demo reel that plays, um, during the intro to the game. You don't see the crash as much as you see it as a set of clips. So it's like those clips are telling you what's gonna happen next, while also showing you what's happening now. Cheryl, where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. I forgot that this game doesn't have voices for everything. Cheryl. It, it wasn't until Silent Hill 2 that it really got the big cinematic treatment. 
And also, oh wait, I do have analog sticks. It does have analog support. Uh, there's the run button. Now, is there... Oof. That, that looks like it's going to be very necessary. Oh, uh, yeah. What does that do? I don't have a map, so I cannot look. And here, first off the bat, we don't even see any monsters, but we do get to experience... Sorry, experience. <laughs> there we go, we can recenter the camera. Um, the hardware limitations of the time that became the defining trait. My car, too banged up to drive. Where's Cheryl? Hope she's safe. But yeah, the hardware limitations of the time that uh, famously defined the series. The heavy fog that was just meant to allow the game to run. Became the central point. Footsteps? Oh, there. Now we have voices. I guess we just didn't have them for the beginning part. Thank you for joining us, Harry. Where are you going? Hey, wait. Stop. Don't cross into that chasm. Ooh. Do I have mail? I do not have mail. All right, I suppose let's brave ourselves into the infinite void. Definitely nothing spooky would happen. I wonder how spooky this game will feel after so many years, because I remember back in the day, this game was so spooky. And I mean back in the day when there was just the PlayStation 1. The PlayStation 2 was merely a glimmer in Sony's eye. Um, like, I remember uh, how sudden the changes were from the real world to the world of... to the other world of Silent Hill. And back. What the? What is it? Is it Chris's guts? And a very nice, disorienting camera view. Not particularly useful from a gameplay aspect, but I suppose that's the thing in regards to um, pre-rendered uh, backgrounds, fixed camera angles, um, is how much of these uh, camera angles are meant to define the experience versus allow you to, to provide utility for the game. That's strange, it's getting darker. Better than nothing, I guess. A broken wheelchair? What's this doing here? Other than to make creepy wheel noises. Also, why is there an air raid siren? That one I forgot about. What's this? Is it Chris's body? Also, he comments about the body, but doesn't worry about all of the blood staining the floor. Because there's a lot of blood. A lot of it. Probably more than there should be. What is this? What 
What's going on here? What? What's this doing here? Oh, no, oh my gosh. I'm being... I need my knees. I need them for later. And there I go. Well, that was good while it was lasted. Thank you for watching Silent Hill 1 on PlayStation 1 being played on a PlayStation 2. Oh, nope, we're back. It was all a bad dream. Why, hello there. Was I dreaming? Maybe. How do you feel? Oh. I've been run over by a truck, but I'm all right, I guess. I mean, other than the being run over by a truck part. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Uh huh. <laughs> Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month, short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. That already you sounds everybody. like a red flag. I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. Wow, um that's that that's must be I why know. you're you're a cop. Because of your investigative mm. abilities. What's your name? It's Harry Mason. Harry. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? I'm going out to look I've for the. Find yeah. Her. I was just telling you. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. Take this and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. I'll try to hold back. Got it? Yeah, thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Alright. Can we find some stuff? I think that's some healing item and maybe a flashlight. There is a health drink. Take it. Oh. Yes. There is a flashlight. Take it. Oh. Yes. Is there a map? There is a residential area map. Take it. Yes. Oh. Someday someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully they will find my notes useful. Is this a save point? This is a save point. Fantastic.
All right, so we are in cafe right now. We are not entirely sure what is closed off to us, but definitely some places are. How do I... Okay. And then I probably shoot from there. Can't turn on the TV. No power. There is a kitchen knife. Take it. There is a health drink. When would I not take the health drink? Okay. Let's switch to the kitchen knife so we don't have to use up all of our ammo on the first fight scene. Oof. A radio. Is it broken? Can't hear anything. Oh, yeah. Um, and then once you step outside the cafe, uh, that's when the radio turns on. What's that? Huh, radio. What's going on with that radio? Ah, oh no! It's monsters! Who would have expected this? Come back. Attack, swing. Maybe using the knife was not a smart move. Let's try that again. Surprisingly good checkpoints because it just started me right back up from the What's door that? rather than the save point. Huh, radio. What's going on with that radio? Still can't c skip the cutscene. And also, I just realized this game defaults subtitles on. Which is unexpected. Like, you don't have a subtitle. Yep, yeah, nope. Walking away. There we go. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? All right, now how many bullets did I use up? Five. Okay, that's better than dying. Um, and I believe I may or may not have picked up... Nope. There's a pocket radio. Take it. Yes. And... We have it on. Excellent. Portable radio that emits static when monsters are near. Again, I, I feel like that's a choice that has de was developed out of the the game's physical lab limitations. Because you cannot see the monsters from a very long distance, this means you could still explore a larger environment um, and still know what's ahead of you. Where could Cheryl have gone? I guess I'll check that alley again. Where was that alley? Oh. That is a very convenient map. There are modern games that aren't even going to be that convenient with their maps. Can I... Check this? Nope. Nope, that's the wrong menu. That's fine. And I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this direction, across the street. 
which is huge. Look at look at the size of this street. Look at the size of this car. You could fit two, three lanes of traffic. Just across this street. Also, I wonder how many doors I can actually use. Because a lot of these doors just seem like they're painted on. I, I, I what am I asking for? Am I, am I asking for Shenmue in, in my Silent Hill? Uh, I'm not going to worry about dealing with you flying creatures. Because I only have so much ammo. Ah. Escape. Escape. Did he get bored? Nope. He did not get bored. That's okay. Oh my gosh. And then there's dogs. You know, that beware of dog sign comes a little bit late. What is over this way? Nothing. Which is what exactly what I'm about to become. But now I have a gun. To fight these supernatural threats. Is that an opening? No, it is not. Bullets! For my gun! There are some handgun bullets. And some more handgun bullets. How many did I pick up? Okay, that's what I was expecting. A full clip of 15 for each stack. So, I've now got 30 handgun bullets. Ooh, is that a crowbar? A steel pipe, even better. To school. Is it the Cheryl sketchbook? Hmm. She's at the school. All right. And I can't go any further in that, that direction. Uh, let's take a look at the swing on this pipe. Long range, but of limited use. Hard to use, but better than nothing. Well, at the least the game is giving me some slack. The game is like, say, you know, you, you know, Nick, we know you, we, we saw you get killed by that first monster when you try to kill it with a knife. But really, the knife is hard to use. It's right there in the description. So it really isn't your fault, aside from not reading the description. Yeah, take that, doggo. And there is another monster. Oh, right there. Another doggo. Hello. Where where are you? Ah. All right. Have I taken significant damage? Yes, I have. I only have one health drink, though. Or no, wait, I had two health drinks. Wow. I was looking at the number on the left. 
All right, so which way am I gonna go? I'm probably going to be blocked off down a couple of streets. Undoubtedly. But I suppose let's try to take the most direct route. Head down Finney Street, turn left on Midwich Street, and then get to the school. What could go wrong? Ow. He just, like, flew right into my face. And this area is blocked off, or should I say cut off, entirely. So let us go down Levin Street, and then take a right somewhere along the way. Okay, once again... Wow, I was not expecting uh, that much animation out of this game. Ah, is that a doghouse? Probably a doghouse, though I'm not sure since there's no dog around. Nothing in particular around. It's locked. Okay. I want to say that is a more important... Oh my gosh. Camera. Ah. Nope, that's the map. We want the uh, menu because we are almost out of health. All right. And hopefully they stay dead? All right, how much closer are we to the school? Okay, right on Matheson, left on Midwich. I'm sure that's all I need to worry about. And everything would go, oh no. Doghouse Levin Street. Okay, so now that I've acquired the note, has the doghouse changed? By the way, I should probably note that the, la the last and only time I played this game was back in the 90s. Oh, there we go. House key was hidden in the doghouse. Take it? Yes! Is there going to be a time in which I won't want to take an item that I find on the ground? Like, do I have a limited inventory so that I can't pick up an item? There is a first aid kit. It's locked. Who would have thought? Are they, are there some bullets? There are in fact handgun bullets and more handgun bullets and a save point. Fantastic. We're in the doghouse now. Oh, is this a map? Something is written on the on the map hanging on the wall. 
keys for eclipse. And then there's a line in the alley and then a marking on the map. Copied it to the map. Thank goodness for that. Whatever it is we just acquired. And this health drink to our health. The refrigerator is empty. He's really good. He is so good at detecting food in refrigerators that he doesn't even need to open up the fridge to know that there's nothing going on. All right, let's save our game one last time so that we don't have to look at the map again. There are three locks. Huh. I was not expecting that. Do we have to go to Elroy Street to get the keys? All right, I suppose let's keep going further south past Matheson and if that doesn't lead us to anything then that means we might have to go all the way back up to Finney Street so we are going through Old Silent Hill did we get hit during that exchange? So it is blocked off here. So I might actually have to go to whatever location is being marked on that map. Okay, I did get hit that time. Which is unfortunate, as I do have limited supplies. Alright, let's take a right down Matheson Street, see how far that takes us. Now that's just the alleyway that we went in, uh, isn't it? Yes, it is, I think. No, this is a different alleyway that looks very similar to the other alleyway. Ah. I wonder if he just has bad aim at a distance, which I suppose would make sense. Oh my gosh. I'm being eaten alive. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'm just going to let myself get eaten alive. So that I don't have to use up all of this health and ammo. And I'll just cut to me either returning or doing something. What is this over here? Is this all for just a first aid kit? It's all just for a first aid kit. Okay, it's good to know that the first aid kit is there. All right, we'll just bypass the alley. We know that a first aid kit is there. We don't really need to collect it. Let's see if we can just go straight on, but we probably can't go straight on towards Elroy because otherwise, why would it mention specifically that alleyway?
And we are... Hmm. But it mentions nothing. Or should I say, uh, I'm not stopped so far. Now I'm stopped. Son of a... How rude. Flying demon. Where have you gone? Huh. Okay, so this part of the street is broken. I cannot go directly there. All right, let us go to the alley that is marked off. And I did not... There we go. Turn down the right street. That This reminds me of one thing that's discussed in the book House of Leaves. The idea that, like, if you're in a dark enough place, to the point in which you have no light, you have nothing, um, and you step out into an open area, and you have nothing, no wall to guide alongside, like, that would create its own feeling of despair. I'm still not at the location. Okay. And running around in this town almost kind of has that energy to it. where I'm just kind of running directly into the darkness. Hoping for the best. Oh, hello. Are you going to come back? Are you done? Am I supposed to find something here? Oh, I guess so. Just a bloody game of basketball. There is a key of woodmen. Take it. Oh, okay. So I probably am going to have to find... ...the two other keys. In order to progress to the school. Alright, let's take a look at this map. So maybe... One of the keys is at the top right corner, the other key is at the bottom right corner of Elroy Street. So that means I have to go around in order to get to that. And I will definitely want to save my game so that I don't have to collect keys again. Am I heading in the right direction at least? Yes. There is at least that. Let's duck and weave. Monsters cannot chase you properly. If you are ducking and or weaving. Ah! 
Sir, can you... Please stay in one place. On the ground is fine. I may have to go and get that first aid kit. Though I've got some handgun bullets now, and the key of lion. Or should I say the key of lion? Because everything must be in quotations. All right, so. Oh my gosh, I am... camera. Alright, so in order to get to the key on Elroy Street, I probably need to go by the cafe. And then go around and then come back up north. Let's see. I'm close to the alley. Let, let's just let's keep running until we can get back to the cafe. Go into the cafe. Then we're going to save our game. And then we'll do the whole outro for this episode. Oh, hold on. There are some hand... I wonder if I have a limit to how many handgun bullets I can carry on me at one time. Either way, I think I'm going to call it here for the night. Got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.